Hi. In this video, I'm going to talk about why you might not be as happy as you used to be and what you can do about it. I've been there and I know. I'm also a doctor of Eastern medicine. If you would like tips and tricks to eliminate high stress, overwhelm, anxiety, and increase your happiness, then subscribe and I will bring them to you every week. The reason that you're not as happy as you used to be can all be explained by science. The science of the brain is called the science of neuroplasticity. When you go through a highly stressful time, and I want you to bear with me for a minute because I'm going to circle this back and it's all going to make sense. And it's going to make sense in a way that's based on science. And then you'll get an idea of how to fix it. That is what my entire channel is about. So there's bunches of videos to help you. When you go through a stressful time, i.e. pandemic, even if people say the pandemic didn't directly affect them that much, it, it did. We're in a pandemic. Pandemics are not fun. Pandemics are inherently stressful. Science of neuroplasticity says every single thought that you think wires your brain. It also says this is way simplified. There are distinct pathways for negative emotions and positive emotions. And scientific studies call it negative effect and positive effect. But for our purposes, let's call it negative emotions and positive emotions. Now, some of the brain regions do overlap with those emotions, but in these studies, the negative emotions had a few brain regions that were specific to the negativity and the positive emotions had a few regions that were specific to the positivity. Now, Every single thought you think wires your brain. So it's either going to wire the pathways in the negativity section or the pathways in the positivity section. So every single thought will wire your brain or strengthen those pathways. So you're either strengthening the negative or the positive. I do know this is an oversimplification, but all I want you to get here is the concept, and then we'll get into the reason you're not as happy, okay? So over a stressful period of time, what thoughts are you thinking? Well, you're thinking the negative thoughts. You're thinking the stressful thoughts. Why? Why are stressful thoughts negative? Because inherent in our survival mechanism is worst case scenario when we're stressed. When we encounter a stressful situation, we have to consider all of the worst case scenarios in order to survive, don't we? But what happens is in a very, very stressful period, we're doing that constantly. We don't need to survive life every day, but when those pathways get wired, so now we have the stress pathways strengthened, we, and we're starting to get the negative pathways strengthened, right? Because worst case scenario is never positive, so our brain is then becoming more and more and more stressed because those pathways are strengthened. And I will talk about the how and why of the science in other videos, but that's not what we're going to accomplish today. I want you to get the main concept today. So with the stressful thoughts and the worst case scenario, negative thinking, you're building your brain to be more stressed and negative, i.e. more unhappy. That's why after a stressful period of time, you're less happy. And I don't know if you're like me. I went through a very, very, very stressful period and I found that I was, my thoughts were highly negative. Even if a semi-positive thought came into my brain, my mind was so dominated by those stress and negative neural pathways that I didn't have a fighting chance at positivity because another law of neuroplasticity is that the thought will always go down the path of least resistance. So if you have more stress and negative neural pathways built and strengthened in your brain than the positive ones, it's always going to dominate. This is also why after a very stressful period, something which wouldn't have set you off before, something not as stressful, has you sailing down those tracks before you can even realize what's happening. Have you noticed that? This is why. And it's all based on science. So how do we fix this? And that's what I, I dedicated a decade to my life to figure out in studying neuroplasticity is we get ourselves into this situation not on purpose, right? And then how can we get out of it? 
And because I myself got to a place where I was feeling highly stressed and negative, I was able to utilize all of the research that I had been doing and the exercises that I had been developing. And I found out it worked really well. I was very happy about that. But let's suffice it to say that calm and happy thoughts, calm and happy emotions will strengthen those pathways. Now, when you're really stressed out, it's kind of hard to stay on those pathways because the stress takes back over again, doesn't it? So what I found for me personally was I needed a systematic technique in order to build those calm and happy pathways. And I'd have that in my Calm Code program. And this isn't an advertisement, but it is meant to help people because I have something that can help people. If you wanna book a phone call with me for 30 minutes, you can do that below. Every single thought that you think matters. So if you wanna concentrate on thinking positive thoughts, and if you're able to restructure your brain that way, do it and go for it. I'm giving you the concepts. If you want additional help with it, I can give additional help too. But what's important to me is that people don't live in the space that I know is not fun. It's really not fun. I've been there. I know it. And thank you for joining me today. I love seeing you here. I would love to hear what you think, your thoughts on the video. Even if you don't agree with me, that's okay. We can have a conversation about it. And subscribe because then I can help more people. And I will see you next week.